Welcome to Vancouver Business Network, where entrepreneurs learn, network, and grow. I'm Roger Killen, the organizer. This evening, Imana Guy is training us on how to massively increase our sales by forming joint venture partnerships. Iman is the founder of both Vancouver Business Network and Success Road Academy. He's a serial entrepreneur, international speaker, and six-time number one best-selling author. Iman is the managing partner of Joint Venture Insider Circle, known affectionately as JVIC, and this is the world's leading community for entrepreneurs to find and form JV partnerships. The video recording of Iman's talk is going to be made public no later than noon tomorrow. So you can re-watch it and ideally ask others in your circle to uh, share it and watch it themselves so that they too can catch the JV wave. Iman, are you ready to rock the stage? I am ready to rock the stage. Then take it away. It's all yours. Hey, hey, hello everybody and welcome to today's presentation on how to connect and collaborate with industry leaders and grow your business at the same time. I'm super, super excited for being here with you. Uh, I've actually prepared about a 45 minute, maybe one hour presentation and more importantly than the presentation, or more important than the presentation, I'm going to talk about the real life stories of how we use joint venture partnership uh, to connect and collaborate with industry leaders and how we use their help and support to grow very successful businesses. Now, I mean, talk a lot about these different, like about some, some stories in a few minutes um, that all actually were, uh, were we, we, in all those stories, we used joint venture partners to help us and supported us to grow, uh, grow different businesses uh, very successfully in a short time. I always put it this way. Building a business is really hard if you want to do it on your own, but why would you want to do it on your own? There are so many people out there who want to share your knowledge and message, who want to share your package and product and services with other experts that uh, those people want to become your clients. Um, as part of my story, um, some of you may actually have seen me before, some of you, this might be the first time you hear me, but I actually started my business for, uh, when I was 17 days away from becoming homeless. And I'm um, not gonna go through that story of how I ended up there, but you know, that's where I started. I was 17 days away from becoming homeless when I started my first company. And the very first customer that was referred to me was actually referred to me by a joint venture partner. You know, that's actually really huge understanding that how Every single client that you have in your business can get referred to you by a joint venture partner. And the reality is that that client paid me $1,800, which covered the rent of that month and bought us some food. And over the next few months, that helped me to go from not having given a company to running a six-figure company in a very, very short time. Later on, in 2014, I actually decided to do a challenge for myself. And I said, can I go to a city that I've never been to before and in four days build the foundation of a six figure company with only spending $2,000. And, uh, and I went to actually three cities. I went to Edmonton, Calgary, and Toronto. And in, th in four days with spending less than $2,000 in each of these cities, I built the foundation of a $100,000 business. Now I didn't generate a hundred K during the four days, we generated that hundred K over the next year. Uh, took 12 months or to actually the cash coming, but the foundation was created only four days. And the way that we did that again was by using joint venture partners and the power of joint venture partners. So what I'm about to share with you um, is actually extremely, extremely important if you grasp the concepts of this. And I'm uh, introducing some easier uh, uh, concepts around the joint venture partnership during this presentation and a little bit more advanced side of the partnership. And what I would like to do is during the presentation, from time to time, I stop and I invite you to ask questions because at the end of the day, 
this is something that if you can implement it in your business, you can get results. And if you just kind of hear a talk, but you don't actually see how you can benefit from this in your business, then, um, then you're not gonna benefit from this, right? So from time to time, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna ask you guys to ask your questions if you have any questions. And to ask your questions, I want you to do something. I want you to click on participants button right now. So if you're on a computer, just click on participants. If you're on a cell phone, click on participants as well. And then click on the raise hand. If you click on raise hand, you see that like your hands get raised. And that way I know actually who is asking questions first and I can keep track of who has a question and give you uh, and, and answer the questions based on the order, right? So just click on raise hand anytime during the presentation. You have a question, just click raise hand. I see that your hands are raised and when I, uh, when I get to the place that I can answer questions, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna answer questions based on people who have raised their hand. Does that make sense? But please don't use the chat box to ask a question from me because I'm not gonna be able to look at the chat box and participants box and the presentation and do presentation and read all of those things all at the same time, right? So um, just simply put any questions at any time during this presentation you have, just simply click on raise hand and, um, and then I can answer your questions. Can I get everybody actually go ahead to the chat box and click on raise hand. I wanna see that, I wanna make sure that everybody knows how to raise their hand. Um, just click raise hand and keep it up as opposed to click and turn it off. So I, I see actually all people are like know how to raise their hand because I only saw like three people or four people. Okay, perfect. So we see how to raise hand and we know how to follow that. Perfect, fantastic. Okay, so you can drop your hands if you want, okay? Perfect. So here is, uh, and then as I said, like I'm gonna, um, I'm, I'm when, so you can drop your hands right now if you want, and we're gonna uh, start the presentation. Okay, so everybody have their hands dropped? Okay, perfect. So I see still Aaron, uh, Aaron has his hand raised. So Aaron, you can drop your hand if you want, okay? And anybody else, if your hand, uh, Jay and Bill, you guys still have your hand raised. Just you can drop it. And then if you have any questions, then you can raise them at the time that you have the question and I'll stop by and answer the questions at the time. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about how to connect and collaborate with industry leaders to grow your business. And um, a couple of items here, make sure that you turn off any distractions. So if you are checking Facebook, if you're uh, checking your emails, if you're checking anything, if you're on Instagram or on TikTok watching something, please don't turn that off. Information I'm about to share with you can and will change your life. If you actually take action on them and grasp them and understand how to benefit from them in your business, and make sure that you have a way to take notes. If you can get pen and paper, make sure you take pen and paper um, or any other way that you actually take notes because um, probably you are gonna need about four or five pages of notes for what I'm about to share with you and the ideas that come to you on how to benefit from joint venture partnerships. And at the end of this presentation, I'll invite you to join us at an event called Collaborate. That event is happening next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, not tomorrow, the next weekend on September 18th to 20th, where you can actually find joint venture partners and um, you can get their support to help you grow your business, okay? Now, information about I'm about to share with you, as I said, these are proven systems that have used that have been used by hundreds of thousands of people before. So this is not like an idea that I have created in the world, but through JV Insider Circle, we have simplified it for people in the world. Now, think about it this way. Have you ever thought about like a very big name expert, right? I think it would be so cool if I can get that expert to promote me. Like a person who has a 100,000 people mailing list, right? A person who has like 1 million followers on Instagram or on Facebook or whatever. Like a person who teaches events and seminars and they have like 300 people at their events. And you think like you go to this event, you go to that seminar and you think, you know what? Would be so cool if that expert, if that person can actually promote me can put me in front of my target market, right? And guess what? Actually, all those experts, all those people, put people on their stage, put people on their webinars, put people on their summits, put people on their podcasts and radio shows and all the things that they have. 
right? Now, during this presentation, I'm gonna share with you some ideas and some systems that you can get yourself much, much closer to be able to get promoted by those people. And same here with Sylvia, for example. She said, I, I implemented your suggestion about how to connect with big partners. Well, one big name partner phoned me personally early this morning saying she loved it. I was very impressed. She eagerly said yes. And that means that she eagerly said yes to promote me, right? Now imagine how would that change your business? If you could actually have a big name partner, person who has like 10,000 people listening to their podcast, a person who has like a ability to put you in, like email your offer to 100,000 people on their mailing list, how would that change your business, right? So that's the whole concept and the idea that we want to share with you. Now, a little about me, who I am, you know, and, and why I have a, a little bit of credibility here to talk about these things. But first and foremost, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I'm the founder of Success Road Academy, which is a multi-six, a multi-seven-figure company. I've trained over 3,000 entrepreneurs how to create and sell online courses, over 15,000 students in all my other programs. I've created over 55 online courses. And as part of my journey, Last year, I bought into a company called JV Insider Circle, which I'm gonna talk a lot about that. Now, JV Insider Circle is one of the largest JV networks in the world, and it's actually the leading JV network for coaches, consultants, authors, and speakers. So if you are looking for selling programs around $500, $1,000, $2,000, or plus, Usually you can't find lots of JV networks. There are some JV networks out there like ClickBanks or JVSU. The problem with those JV networks is that all of them are focused on selling $27, $47, $97 programs maximum. But JV Insider Circle is the network that allows people to find partners that can help them to sell $500, $1,000, $2,000 programs. And our members aren't there to sell to each other. Our members are there because they are the hosts of podcasts. They're hosts of radio shows. They're hosts of networks. Same as Roger, for example, being the host of Vancouver Business Network, right? So these are people who are influential. They have access to, they have access to a big community. And what they would like to do, they would like to find experts just like you to put those experts on their stage and share their knowledge and message. And absolutely you can become one of those experts who go to these shows, who goes to these summits, who goes to these webinars and present. And by the end of it, make an invitation and invite people to your programs and courses and sell a lot of your programs and courses. Now, why did I buy into JV Insider Circle? I'm not a founder of JV Insider Circle. JV Insider Circle was founded in 2013. The reason that last year I bought into JV Insider Circle was because over the past few years, I was building Success Road Academy and several other of my businesses. The number one strategy that we used to get clients was joint venture partnerships. And I realized this is probably the missing link for many, many of my students to be able to successfully build joint venture partnerships because it's hard to find people who understand what joint venture partnership mean. And it's hard to belong to a community like that if these communities are very exclusive usually. So I bought JV Insider Circle, about part of JV Insider Circle, so I can have influence on the, on the vision of the company so I can make it accessible to more and more people like you. So you can actually go and find a community like that to join that community and you can share your knowledge and message with the world. Okay, as I said, I've created over 55 online courses. As Roger said, I'm a six time best selling author of many different programs. Actually, my ultimate course formula book is one of the top 100 entrepreneurial books every single day for the past, past six months straight. Um, today is actually number 99 globally on the entrepreneurship, and we've been one of the top 100. Um, books in entrepreneurship in the world for the past six months straight every single day. Now, and, and, and personally, I have a network of 500 joint venture partners, meaning that anytime I wanna launch a program, I can personally message 
500 people and ask them to promote my program. Now, go to the chat box and tell me if that, if, if, you, if, if you had that, would that change your life? Would that change your business? If you could actually personally message 500 people and say, I'm launching this new program, I'm launching this new course, I'm launching this new service, and would you like to promote me? Would you like to support me? Would you like to share this message? So I want everybody to go to the chat box, find the chat box. I know the chat box isn't that handy, when, especially when I'm sharing the screen, right? So find that chat box, click on more, and click on chat, and go to the chat box. Now, right, would that change your business? Would that change your life if we were able to get 500 or 300 or 200 or even 50 people that you could message and say, hey, I'm launching this new program. Can you put me on the stage? Can you send an email out for me, right? I mean, in many cases, 50 customers would change your business, let alone 50 people that each of them could send you two, three, four, five customers. Make sense? And that's a whole concept that we want to talk about here and how we can actually connect and collaborate with these top experts. And let me a little bit explain what joint venture partnership is, because I talk about JV partnership a lot, but many people don't know actually what JV partnership means. So let me explain that word JV partnership. So JV partnership gets divided to two areas. Okay. Now, many people use an affiliate relationship, the word affiliate relationship, instead of JV partnership. So they use it interchangeably. So they say, I have an affiliate, or they say, I have a JV. Okay. But let me actually teach you this correctly, because most people don't know how these things work, because they heard it from somebody else, who heard it from somebody else, who heard it from somebody else, who never actually officially got educated around these words, and like the whole world is... I actually made, there are so many confused online marketers out there that we just got to fix this, okay? So what does JV partnership mean? Let me come here on, ca on camera here with you. Okay, what does JV partnership mean? Okay, JV partnership gets divided to two sections. One section is called promotional partnership and the other section is called production partnership. Okay, write this down. So you have the JV partnership and the JV means two things. You either are a promotional partner or you are a production partner in that relationship. Now, what does that mean? It means that you are either the person who produces the service and the content, which in that sense, you are a production partner or you are the person who is promoting that service or content, which makes you a promotional partner, okay? So in any JV partnership, we are either a production partner or a promotional partner. Now, sometimes two production partners also come together and produce something together, okay? So for example, you have a piece of content and somebody else has a piece of content and you talk to each other and you say, wait a second, if we mix two, our, two of our programs with each other, we're gonna have world's best course. We're gonna have world's best program. We're gonna have world's best service. So why don't we come and partner up with each other to create world's best service or program and then find promotional partners to promote it for us, okay? Now, in this sense here between me and Roger, Roger is organizing this event. Roger promoted this event. So he's the promotional partner of this relationship and I'm the production partner. So I'm producing the content, right? So does that make sense to everyone? So you are in a JV relationship, you are either the production partner or you are the promotional partner. Now, if you got that concept of what the JV means, go to the chat box, say totally with you right? So if you know what the production partners are, what the promotional partners are. Now, in the market, 
I want to see actually I already go to the chat box say totally with you because I want to understand what the JV partnership means. So they say we JV with each other. When they say they JV with each other, it means that we shape the joint venture partnership. So I'm either promoting someone or I'm producing content and somebody is promoting me. Okay? So go to the chat box. Let's get everybody to go to the chat box. There are 33 of you in, uh, with me and there are four of you who said totally with you. So, I mean, if the other 29 of you don't know, I want to make sure that you guys understand this before I go further, right? Because this is the whole concept of this. Now, let's say, for example, I have a, uh, I have a course on online course creation, okay? If I have a course on online course creation and I want to offer my course to coaches and authors and speakers, what I can do is I can find a person who has a mailing list of coaches, authors, and speakers, and I go to them and say, hey, I have a presentation for course creation. Can you put me on a stage and do a webinar with me? So they say, yes, absolutely. They do a webinar with me. They bring 100, 200 people to my presentation. I talk about my online course creation program, and then by the end, I sell 30 programs, okay? Now that I sell 30 programs, on that 30 programs, I will pay the person who put me in front of those 100, 200 people a percentage of my sales for those sales. Does that make sense? So that's why they would like to put me on the stage, because if I sell, I give them a commission. So they would like to promote me. Doesn't make sense, so I pay them referral fee, which is very normal, everybody pays referral fee. If anybody refers a client to you, what do you pay them? We pay them a referral fee, right? So that's very normal, that's very kind of a regular thing that we do always when it comes to uh, relationships, okay? Now, that's, that's, the, that's the basic concepts of joint venture partnership. Now, before I go any further, I wanna see if anybody has any questions. If you have any questions, just raise your hand digitally. I want to make sure that I answer the questions before I go and talk like for another like 35, 40, 50 minutes. And I realized like kind of people were confused about this concept, right? So if you have a question, go to, uh, go to the participants, raise hand digitally, raise your hand so that way I know that you have a question and I can go and answer you. So Francis, um, you have a question? You can unmute yourself, ask your question, man. How are you doing, brother? You're muted. Hello. Hello, man. How are you doing? Hi, good, good to see you. And thanks for your great talk. I've heard many of your talks before and it's, they're always awesome. Uh, just a quick question. What is the typical percentage of the commission? That's a really good question. So there can be actually very different levels of commissions depending on what it is you are offering. Uh, so for example, for an online course, when everything is automated and you're not really putting a lot into it, uh, can go as high as 50%. Uh, but if, for example, you're providing a service that requires one-on-one -on -one work and um, kind of is very involved, that might be as low as 3% or 5% or even 10%. So like if, for example, you offer web design and then, uh, and then, and then so web design is a very involved work. So that's usually about 10%. But if you're selling an online course, then that's up to 50%. Even in some cases, you may even see that the referral fee can be up to 100%. And people ask, why would a person pay 100% of their income? And here is why, because it's a lead generation strategy, right? So for example, I say, if you sell my book at $20, I'll pay you 100% of that 20 bucks. Why? Because people, when they get my book, they read the first three pages of it and the first three pages says go to this webinar and people who buy the book go buy my course. So I pay 100% of this 20 bucks because I know that I'm gonna get a $500 customer in the back end of this, right? So it really depends on the strategy. So it depends, but it can go anywhere. Usually the average for an online course is 50% and the more involved the service, the lower the uh, okay. percentage of that, okay? Bill Bunting? Thank you. No worries. Thanks. Hi, Iman. Enjoy Hello. your presentation. I, I, uh, I had my question answered by the previous fellow about the percentage of the, of the uh, program that you would joint venture. Um, so I was trying to think of another question. 
Um, what type of CRM do you recommend for people? You know, there's so many out there. I've ne- this is just a flood of options. I don't know what you use. I don't, just wondered what you use. Absolutely. So that's a great question. It's a little bit outside the scope of what I'm talking tonight. However, I'll tell you guys this because one of the challenges that people have with the JV partners is, is tracking the JV partners. So understanding who referred whom to whom, right? So one of the so the CRM I personally like is Active Campaign. We use Active Campaign for managing our mailing list and everything. However, Active Campaign doesn't track your joint venture partners. So the software that we use for tracking our joint venture partners and making sales is a software called ThriveCart. ThriveCart allows you to create affiliate tracking links and you can give those affiliate tracking links to your joint venture partners. So when people make sales, automatically they get paid on that, uh, on that platform, okay? Now, on that note, let me actually clarify something that can actually confuse you. However, it's really good that you know these things. As I said, many people use the word JV partnership interchangeably with affiliate marketing. Okay, so they think if a person is a joint venture, they are affiliates. That's not necessarily true. You remember I said the JV partnership has two sections. There is the promotional partner and production partner. The promotional partner is called an affiliate. The production partner is called production partner. Now, for example, in ThriveCard, they call affiliates and JVs. And when they say JV, they mean production partner. So anyways, that's a, that's a little bit like too advanced for this, but just keep this in mind. The many times when people say, I want to find a JV, means that I want to find an affiliate to promote me, okay? But just you guys know more than 95% of the market right now. Just by knowing the word JV means production partnership and promotional partnership, okay? So here is the thing. Now, as I mentioned, so that, that's what the JV partnership looks like, right? So two people promoting and supporting each other, helping each other to share their knowledge and message with more people. And JV Insider Circle, so so many people ask me what's JV Insider Circle. Technically, JV Insider Circle is a community of people who are ready to do joint venture partnership with each other. You see how when we are talking about this, there are so many people who don't know about the word joint venture partnership. You can go outside and you can try to find JVs and you constantly fail at it. And people say like, how come I can't find JV partners? Because people don't know what JV means. And because many people don't know what JV means, they they promise that they're gonna promote you, but they'll never promote you. They don't even know how to promote you. They are not joint venture ready. So there are lots of challenges there. However, in JV Insider Circle, we train people, educate people on the meaning of the word. We help them to become joint venture partner. And then we have a community of people who understand what it means to support and promote each other. So instead of wasting years of your time trying to find JV partners in JV Insider Circle, which is the community we have built, you can find people who are ready to promote and support you. Does that make sense? So technically we are making people's lives easy by giving them access to people who understand what JV partnership mean and are ready to promote and support each other, okay? Now, that's why, by the way, I'll tell you about a lot, like as I'm doing presentation, I'll share with you some of the success stories of some of our clients, some of our students in JV Insider Circle, and you guys are gonna see like the difference of being part of JVIC and not being part of JVIC. You guys, okay, let me tell you this. Let me tell you simply this. You know how everybody says you gotta do networking, 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 and you go to a networking event for the first event and nothing happens, and the second event and nothing happens, and the fourth one and the fifth one, and nobody starts referring customers to you, nobody starts sending people, nobody becomes a customer, right? Does that sound familiar, right? When I was doing my business, everybody was telling me, you gotta understand networking, you gotta learn about networking. I started going to all these networking events, I started a Vancouver Business Network, I founded Vancouver Business Network, right? To just network with people and stuff. But then there is always a challenge of finding people who understand what these words mean and actually start referring customers. So JV inside their circle is that network that people actually get it and people understand what it means, okay? Simply put, it's the network that people understand, that people connected, people actually 
eagerly go there to find people that they can promote because they understand how to benefit from it, okay? Simply put, that's what the JV Insider Circle is, okay? Now, when it comes to promotions, many people ask me, Iman, how can we get top JV partners promote us? Like, how can we actually get industry leaders promote us? And there are several different strategies that you can get JV partners promote you that can actually be a two-way street. So they promote you and they benefit from promoting you. And here are those five strategies. I'm gonna go through each of these strategies one at a time, okay? So the first one, the first one is being featured speaker on their podcast. Okay, the first one being featured on their podcast. There are so many people who have podcasts and they would like to have experts. I'm gonna go to the details of this. The second one is participating in gift giveaways. I'm gonna explain that in a second, what it means. The third one is being featured on tele-summits. I'm gonna explain that to you, what, what that means. The fourth one is speaking at events and you're sitting there, you're like, Iman, it's COVID time, come on, dude. Like there are no events. Guess what I'm doing right now? I'm speaking at an event. In fact, now since we went to COVID, events became much bigger than what they were before. They became 10 times easier to actually hold events and speaking at events than ever before. So that's one of the amazing strategies that right now we use. And the fifth one is cross promotion. And I'm gonna explain every single one of these as we go, okay? Now, the first strategy is being featured the speaker on the industry leaders podcast. One thing that you gotta, you gotta know is that many people, the reason that they became an industry leader is because they had the podcast. So they had this podcast where they were interviewing people who had amazing knowledge and information, people who had amazing content, and they featured all these people who had amazing content. And guess what? Because experts just like you who had amazing content went to those podcasts and presented, they raised the profile of this person and this person became an industry leader because they were showcasing amazing content. Now, let me tell you a secret. Now, the biggest part of being on podcasts is having stories, having success stories of people who have worked with you. Now, Roger is actually amazing at teaching people how to come up with the stories and how to tell those stories. So if you actually have never actually heard Roger or don't know about his uh, storytelling class, make sure you connect with Roger and ask, because this is a very important thing. You know, how in my story as an entrepreneur, I actually share how I was 17 days away from becoming homeless when I started my first company. I used to talk about how I was on my deathbed. Now I didn't talk about that here, but like if you listen to my TEDx talk, in my TEDx talk, you hear that I was on my deathbed and how being on my deathbed changed my life. Like those stories, change your business, change your life, and make you an amazing guest on podcasts. And guess what? Many people think they don't have any stories. Like I thought I don't have any stories. I always thought like I have no story to tell. And I took programs, classes like Roger's class, and I learned, okay, there are actually a lot of stories that I have to share. You can share these stories, and guess what? Sharing those stories, made me an amazing guest on different podcasts. And you also have your own knowledge. You're an expert in an area, right? So let me actually ask you this question. Go to the chat box and write this for me. Okay, go to the chat box, write this for me. If I want to interview you tomorrow on my podcast, if I want to interview you tomorrow on my podcast, what topic you want to talk about? What would be your topic? Let's get everybody to go to the chat box and tell me about your topic. Okay. Let's get everybody. Let's get everybody to go to the chat box. Share me. Share with me your topic. What would your topic be? Okay. So we have course creation. How to use visioning. Uh, personal finance discipline. Drug addict to CEO. Okay. Perfect. Uh, 
dealing with dealing with grief, losing a child. Okay, my topic would be to talk about AI as someone who has never written a line of code. That's fantastic, Shadi. Uh, sustainability in formatting, WordPress security. Okay, so you guys, okay, you see, all these topics are amazing topics to be featured on other people's podcasts. And guess what? You need to do nothing for being on a podcast. So many times people will come to me and they say, Iman, I would love to get featured on other people's shows, but I don't have a mailing list. And if I don't have a mailing list, how am I going to get people to promote me? Because I need, I can't, if I can't promote them back, how, why would anybody want to promote me? Are they with me? Are they understand that? Like people say, well, usually JV partnership can come in a reciprocation situation. You promote me, I promote you back. But if I have no mailing list, then how am I going to get promoted? And guess what? Guess how you are going to get promoted. You're exactly going to get promoted because of your content of your podcast. Everybody with me? Are you with me on that? So you see, on a podcast, you don't need to promote a podcast back. There are so many strategies that you need to promote them back, but not for a podcast. So one of the greatest things you can do is find podcasters who have access to your target market. I saw so many topics here that is for entrepreneurs, for personal development, for uh, personal uh, growth, for, like, uh, for, wealth, uh, for wellness and health. There's, you know how many podcasts we have for health and wellness, for entrepreneurs? For, and here is a question for you. Have you ever searched the top 10 podcasts for personal development? Have you reached out to them? Have you listened to them? to see which one of them actually have a guest? Have you reached out to them say, I'm an expert, I would like to be on your podcast and talk about this topic? And you haven't, you need to actually consider this really hard. Now, I gotta tell you, like in a few seconds, I'm gonna tell you why coming to an event, Collaborate, will make this 10 times easier for you because at Collaborate, we already have the podcasters attending the event looking for people like you, right? So you can go out to try to get on podcasts that you try to pitch to them, but you can come to collaborate, which is our three-day event, where already we have podcasters who are looking for experts. Are sitting there just ready, ready to find people who have amazing stories and amazing content to be heard. And you remember I said JVIC makes the JV partnership 10 times easier? That's why because it's just a network that allows people that find those people much, much easier, okay? So that's one thing, like one of the greatest ways to be able to get joint venture partners and connect with industry leaders today, not when you built a mailing list. I mean, like if you had 100,000 people mailing list, obviously you could get anybody's promotion because they would want to promote you so you could promote them back. But what if you don't have 100,000 people mailing list? Where do you begin with that? And that's where it comes when, when you can actually get on a podcast as an expert and you can, you, can, you can get featured on a podcast, okay? Now, the second one is participating in gift giveaways. So what's participating in gift giveaways? What are gift giveaways? Gift giveaways are actually strategies when one host... And by the way, you can also host a giveaway yourself, right? But you can also participate in other people's gift giveaways where as a host, as, sorry, as a participant, you, you gift a piece of content. You gift something of value, which usually is a digital piece of program. It's either recorded videos or it's audio recordings or it's a PDF or it's an ebook or something, right? So think about it this way. Do you have an opt-in page? If you have an opt-in page, behind that opt-in page, you have a gift, right? If you have an opt-in page that you have a gift behind it, you are ready to participate in a gift giveaway, okay? Now, what you can do is you can participate in a giveaway where people are looking for gifts and you donate your gift to this giveaway. Now, all the participants 
of the giveaway will email to this gift giveaway. So guess what happens? So if you have a 500 people list, you have a very small list. You go and email your 500 people list, you invite people to go to this gift giveaway, right? But if there are another 35 or 40 or 50 contributors, and all of those contributors send the email to their thousand people list. Now you are sending 500 people, but how many people do you get back? 40,000, you see? You promote to 500, you promote to 1,000 because you are promoting to one list. But all of these 40 people are promoting to 500 or 1,000 people each. So you get access to these 40,000 people. You get promoted to these 40,000 people. Now out of those 40,000 people, maybe 2,000 of them opt in to the main mailing list, 1,200 of them opt in to your list. So you see how you promote with a very small list of 500, 1,000 people, and in return, you can build a 1,200, 2,000, 3,000 people list. Everybody with me, right? Everybody with me. Do you see the brilliance in that strategy? Now, here is another thing. You can actually become the host of this giveaway. You can even host one. And as a host, you are gonna find 20, 30, 40 contributors. You're gonna get them to promote to their list and you build the biggest list. And here is, what, here is the, what, what's interesting. The size of your list doesn't matter anymore. Why? Because you can have zero people on your list. You have 40 contributors. All 40 of them are promoting to 1,000 people. 4,000 people get added to your list without you needing to have zero people on your list. So people come to me and say, my, I don't have a mailing list. I'm beginning, what do I do? Where do I begin? So that's like, there are so many amazing strategies that you can end up with the 2,500, 4,000, 5,000 list in a matter of days. In a matter of days, you can actually come up with those lists. But again, the challenge is finding those contributors. Where do you find those contributors who have a list? So you see, you see why I bought JVIC? Because that's the place, that's the missing link. Like the strategy exists, but this, there, is, there needs to be a bridge for people. There needs to be a bridge for people to solve this challenge, to solve like the strategy exists, it's a very easy strategy, except people can't find contributors. People can't find podcast hosts. People can't find gift giveaway hosts. And JVIC is what actually brings that gap, like bridges that gap for people. Everybody with me, go to chat box, say I'm with you. If you're with me, go to chat box, say with you. I totally get that, right? Now, here is a third strategy. Here's a third strategy. The third, okay, actually let me read this for you. So this is Julia Stegi. Many of you guys may know her because she's one of the top experts right now in the world. And here is what she says. She says, before joining JVIC, I had my business for 17 years and built an email list of just 3,000 people. So 17 years, and she just built a 3,000 people list in 17 years. In the four years I've been in JVIC, I built my email list to over 12,000. So in four years, she went to 12,000. In 17 years, she went to 3,000, right? You see, like her growth, is like she had 16 times more growth after she joined JVIC. But here's the thing. And I've made over $500,000 in income directly as a result of being part of JVIC. Thank you. Rich is the name of my business partner. Thank you, Rich, and this amazing community. Right? So you guys, I want you to see like the, the importance of having access. Now the next group of people, the next thing is being featured on telesummits. So what are the telesummits? So this is a really good thing for you guys to know. So telesummits 
is a place where you invite several experts, but these experts all have a mailing list, okay? So you invite several experts, but then this time these experts all have a mailing list of a small list, like a thousand to three thousand people. Okay, so these are not super large lists. So you don't need to have a ten thousand, two hundred thousand people mailing list. You can just have like a thousand people mailing list, and you become one of the experts of this summit. Now a summit. So sometimes attracts 10,000, 20,000 at on the lower end attracts 1200 people to watch the summit. How would your business change? Think about it. How would your business change if you could get in front of 1200 people and talk about your topic and make an invitation at the end? How would your business change? Would that, would that change something in your business? Right? Would that change something in your business? To be able to get in front of 1,200 people online like this, and you could present your topic. Absolutely, it would change. Absolutely, it would change your business. So how do you do that by getting on Telesummit? So if you have even a small list, you can get yourself on these summits. But again, what's the challenge? finding the person who is organizing the summit. Have you ever seen a summit that you go and opt in and you look at all the topics? You say, I can totally do one of these topics. I can totally talk about one of these topics. Why am I not one of this, the experts here? You know why you are not the expert there? Because you just don't know the organizer. Like literally it's as simple as that. If you knew the organizer, and the organ, at the time that the organizer was looking for speakers, they would choose you. If the organizer knew you and you were under, under radar, they would choose you as opposed to the other speaker. Do you think it's easy to find 40 experts? You know how long it takes for summit organizers to find 40 experts? And for you, if you already, like if you knew the summit organizer at the time that they were organizing this, you could actually be one of the experts. But then your challenge is not being connected with the summit experts, summit organizers at the time. So again, with the summit, you need to have a small list, okay? Now, let me share with you a secret here. I've never shared this secret in any other webinar. Never ever shared this secret on any other webinar, but I'm gonna share this with you very quietly here, okay? What if you don't have a list at all, okay? First of all, if you don't have a list, you can get on people's podcasts and build a list really fast, right? Because for podcasts, you don't need to have a list, okay? So that's a strategy even for people who don't have a list. But even if you don't have a list, and somebody, and, and like, for example, somebody wants to do a podcast or somebody wants to do a summit and they say, you know what? I would love to have you on my summit, but do you have a list to promote me? You say, you know what? I don't have a list to promote you today, but if I had a list, how many clicks would you want from me? How many clicks would you want from me? Right? What, what does that mean? If I have a list, I'm going to send an email to my list, right? Then people on my list are going to click on the link to sign up, right? Right? So I said, how many clicks do you want from me? And the person says, 250 clicks. Okay? I want at least to see 200 clicks from you. So that's totally fine. I can buy 200 clicks. You can always pay for the 200 clicks. So you can pay for 200 clicks through solo ads. You can search these things later. You can buy, but you can, you can hire experts like Ilya Golden here on the column, I'm actually looking at him. Like he does Facebook ads, he does YouTube, he does Google ads and stuff like that, right? Or you can just simply just, or just connect with another expert that you know that owes you a favor or say, hey, you know, can you send one email out to your list for me? 
Does that make sense? There are so many ways. I mean, 250 clicks on solo ads, most likely gonna cost you 220 bucks, 250 bucks. Now, if you get in front of 300 people of your target market, is it worth for you 220 bucks? You pay 220 bucks to get in front of 300 people, totally is worth it. Now, obviously it's worth it for you to pay 220 bucks to get in front of 300 people in your target market. Does it make sense? And that's one of the greatest ways for you to be able to get in front of people and partner up. You're like, okay, I'd love to be part of your summit. I have zero people on my list, but I just pay for solo ads. I get people, I get 200 clicks for you. Now, this, is a, this is a secret, by the way. I've never, ever, ever, ever shared this anywhere else. And probably you'll never, ever hear me sharing this secret somewhere else, right? Because, I mean, why would I? But here is actually one of the things that um, many people don't know about, okay? But you don't need to do that. You can always start from tele-summits. Then you can graduate to gift giveaways. You can actually do your own gift giveaway, you can host your own summit. And if you're hosting your own summit, how many people do you need on your list? Zero. How many people will you have at the end of the summit? 5,000. If you have a 5,000 people list, most likely you can get almost in 99% of the summits that are happening right now. Most summits right now want, like, I mean, like the, the maximum number I've seen is 4,000 people that they want to have you on your list. Like there are many summits that you can even get on a 250 people list. Like even if you have 250 people on your list, you can get on it, but I've seen as high as 4,000. I've never seen anything for summits over 4,000. That means if you host one giveaway, you can actually do that. Again, the challenge here is finding those contributors. If you want to host your giveaway, finding contributors. If you want to do host your summit, finding those experts. Think about it this way. Can you find 40 experts who have a list today? Most likely not. And that's the challenge. People hear these things, they're like, wow, this is fantastic. This is amazing, but yeah, I can't find, like, can you find 40 experts who have, who have a 500 people or a thousand people list? And you see the challenge, you see the, you see the strategy is easy. That gap is what's standing between people's success, like where they are and their success. Okay. Now, then, okay, actually, let me ask, let me see if anybody has any questions. First of all, are you guys getting some value? If you're getting some value, go to the chat box saying getting value. If you're excited, say, I'm excited. Whatever you feel right now, right? Go to the chat box and share that with me. And if you have any questions, as I said, I, because I'm doing the presentation and stuff, I can't read the chat box for questions. Uh, I, I can read quick stuff, say yes with you, good value, stuff like that, but I can't read questions from the chat box, right? But if you have any questions, just raise your hand digitally, click on participants, raise your hand digitally, and I'm happy to answer any questions, just come, come on, like unmute yourself and come on question. I saw a couple of questions in the chat box, I couldn't read them and they went up. So, People who ask questions in the chat box, can you just raise your hand digitally and ask? Okay, no questions? I, uh, Imana, I have a question. Yeah. 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 Uh, I would like to know what about your LinkedIn contacts? Does that count as your mailing uh, list? LinkedIn contacts doesn't count as your mailing list necessarily, but you can totally within the guidelines of LinkedIn, and that's the problem. There are guidelines in LinkedIn, right? That you can't go and spam people, right? So you can't go and like send the same email to 500 contacts that you have on LinkedIn. So, so that's the challenge with LinkedIn. Uh, but you can hand select people and invite them. And guess what? 
many times if you are promoting a summit over a period of seven days and every day you are contacting them and every day you can get 10, 20 opt-ins. Over seven days, how many opt-ins do you have? 140 opt-ins. Yeah. If 140 opt-ins, 140 opt-ins is a very decent opt-in number to be part of a summit. So yes, you can use your LinkedIn, but not in a way that like, for example, if I want to promote something, I just go to my mailing list, send one email, I'm done. But if you're going to use LinkedIn, you have to use it slowly. So you're going to use it over period of time, but you can totally do that. Especially if you're beginning, you don't have a large list, totally fine. I mean, any way you can get an opt-in, you can get an opt-in. Does that make sense? You can start yeah. picking up the phone and calling all your family and friends and say, hey, you know, I want you to opt into this page. That would count too, as long as you are getting opt-ins. Now, uh, you I want to make sure I have a kind of a suggestion. What about uh, you post it on your wall, like the LinkedIn post? Uh, right. Because I've got a situation where when I post, because I create content on financial education, where sometimes it hits around uh, 10,000, 12,000 views. Right. So yeah. if you have the reach that you have, Talina, then sure. But in most cases, in our experience, sharing content on social media doesn't get as much result as directly emailing people. Okay. And we have done this over like years of like tracking numbers and stuff. And on, when, when it's on social media, you get lots of clicks, but you don't get lots of opt-ins and your, your partners are looking for opt-ins, not clicks. Okay. So, but I mean, if you have a content that your content gets 10,000 views, um, you can test, see how many opt-ins actually you get. Remember that at the end, people are looking for opt-ins. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. But test it. That, that's fantastic, man. Okay, perfect. Any other questions? We're good? Perfect. So moving on to the next part, right, is the speaking at events. Guess what? Right now that we are dealing with COVID, events have grown drastically. We have so many more events and organizing events have become so much easier. Like tonight, Roger didn't need to find a venue, didn't need to talk to the venue organizer. The venue organizer didn't need to stay over time to host us here. We have people right now from all over the world. We have people from Toronto. We have people from the uh, US. We have, we have so many people like I'm, uh, Roger and I are sitting in Vancouver, BC in Canada. And we have people from five different time zones here on the call with us. Okay, so now with all this online training, with, all, with COVID and with going online, the world has changed drastically and not for the worse, for the better. For us as coaches, authors, speakers, program leaders, the world is changing in a better way for us. I know many people are going through so many hardships. Unfortunately, there are so many deaths and all of those things are happening and that's super sad. And, right? But the reality is that in terms of business, the current situation for speakers, authors, coaches has created a situation that we can share a knowledge and message with a lot more people with, le with much less work and concern that we had. For example, when I used to do events before, like before COVID, in February actually, in February, I hosted an event. And the one event, this is a big event, right? I'm talking about like three day event or weekend. Those events used to cost me thirty to sixty thousand dollars per event. Right now, we host those three-day online events, and including the team, costs us less than five thousand dollars. An event like this that you guys are attending costs less than fifteen dollars a month for a basic Zoom membership. So hosting events have come, have become much, much easier. And guess what? You can also start becoming a host of an event or you can become a speaker at one of those events. So there are lots of events happening. Again, the challenge is what? finding that organizer who is organizing the event, okay? 
Think about it this way. Close your eyes. Can you name five event organizers that they know you and you can message them tonight and they can put you on the stage? See, many people have problem with, with finding that gap, finding those people. It's not that events aren't happening, is that getting access to those organizers is what's the challenge. It's not that summits aren't happening, is accessing those summit organizers. So all of these things are happening, you're just getting access to those organizers. And the four and the fifth one is cross promotion. Now this is a little bit more advanced, okay? So this is not for a person who is beginning. This is for a person who has been in the industry for some time. This is for a person who has a list and here is what they say. They say, I have a mailing list, you have a mailing list. I would love to promote you to my list if you can promote me to your list. We also refer to this as a reciprocation or reciprocating promotion, okay? It's a reciprocation or reciprocating promotion meaning that I promote you. If you promote me, I'll put you on my stage. If you put me on your stage, I send an email to my 10,000 people list. If you send an email to your 10,000 people list, right? So that's something that is the cross promotion and makes a huge, huge difference in your business. Okay. Now, let me ask you this question. How would your business change if you had access to other experts who would promote you through their podcasts, telesummits, gift giveaways, stages, and promote your products and services directly? How would, it, how would your business actually change? How would your business change? If you could be on people's podcasts, if you could be on people's summits, people, you could be on people's webinars, on people's events. Right? If you could do that, your business would change. Again, what's the biggest challenge? Having access. Okay? And that access is what Collaborate solves. So let me tell you what Collaborate is. So the biggest challenge is finding qualified experts to collaborate with, right? So the biggest challenge is finding these podcasters, you, uh, 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 a summit host, a gift giveaway host, and all of those things, and get access to them. And so that's what Collaborate solves. What's Collaborate? Collaborate is a name of a three-day event happening on September 18th to 20th. So not tomorrow, but next week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, I want you to check your calendar because we're actually gonna give you guys a very exclusive invitation to this. Okay, I'm gonna give you a very exclusive invitation to this. September 18th to 20th. And this is a full day event for three days in a row from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time. Okay. And here is what we do during those three days. It's a three day event. I will put you in a room with another 150 to 200, maybe even 250 people who host podcasts, who host telesummits, who host radio shows, who organize gift giveaways, who do reciprocating promotions for those of you who have bigger mailing lists, and these experts are looking for you. These experts are looking for JV partnerships. They are not the type of people who don't know what the word JV means. They're not the type of person who doesn't know what a podcast or giveaway is. These people are super qualified. They understand what it is. They understand how it changes people's lives. They understand how it makes a huge difference. Now, let's listen from a couple of people who attended Collaborate. My very first joint venture partner had an email list of over 10,000 people. So imagine you attend Collaborate and you find a joint venture partner who has a mailing list of 10,000 people. 
the virtual event was a gigantic mind-blowing explosion of actionable tools tactics and experts for business networking a must for any entrepreneur who wants to enhance and grow their business and on a on a grand scale and here's the thing the event is online so you don't even need to go anywhere right so it's a three-day event 8 a.m to 5 p.m you just sit at home wherever you are comfortable with you attend this event you get the opportunity to meet with 150 200 250 potential jv partners to get on podcasts and radio shows and telesummits and gift giveaways right here's another one during the event, I made seven new JV partners. So this is for Ted Yusitinsky, right? He's an amazing guy. He's like, I made seven new joint venture partners. We are going to do some JV swaps. I made connections for five potential new podcasts. So he got seven reciprocating promo. He got five podcasts. Because I also have tons of new notes from Iman and Rich. The event was a great opportunity and I didn't even have to leave my room. I'm looking forward to attending the next event. Thanks, JV. I said, this is awesome, okay? So as I said, like this is an amazing event. It's a huge, huge successful event. Why? Because we've breached that gap that you need in your business. Now, how much does it cost? What's your investment for the three-day event to come and hang out with the podcasters and those Telesummit hosts and gift giveaway hosts and all of those things, they will generate you potentially tens of thousands of dollars. Well, guess what? When we're doing this in person, when you attend the JV Summit in person, usually the tickets are between two to five thousand dollars when you it's in person. JVX, which is our in-person event, which is a bigger event than a JV Summit it's usually $500. But this event, because it's happening online, I want to make this so simple for everybody to show up. This event, your investment for it, is only $47 USD. And you can get connected with 150, 200, 250, podcasters and telesummit hosts and gift giveaway hosts. Let me put this simple. This is the place that can change your entire business in a three-day event. All you need to do is just show up three days and attend the event. And Roger can put the link for us in the chat box for the event. And let me tell you what's happening. At the event, so there are three days of the event, right? We have something called networking circles. In networking circles, we put you in smaller groups of eight to 10 people. First of all, actually, I'll tell you one thing. We give you guys access to the directory of everybody who is attending the event. The directory includes the person's name, email, phone number, their target market, their product, and who they would like to talk to and promote. So you go through the directory, this is a 250 people. I don't know how many people are gonna be. But so far, like I checked this right now before coming on this, we had 210 people already registered, right? So we already have 210 people registered. My guess is that we're gonna have between 150 to 250 people live on the call. Last collaborate, we had 260 people. The collaborate before that we had 260 people at the event, right? So now imagine you're getting on the call with all of these people, you get access to their name, email, phone number, contact information, and you can see what their program is and what they would like to promote. You can see they have a podcast, they have a radio show. You can actually contact them directly. You can't add these people to your mailing list, by the way, okay? If you get the copy that list and copy it to your list, Imagine that you, you provide your contact information and give somebody add. So we, we uh, fire the person from the community. If anybody copies this list, we fire them from the community. Okay? Yeah, so that's, that's a very hard rule. But what you can do is that you see their name and email, you see their pocket, you can directly email them, right? So you can add them to a CRM, but you directly email them and you say, hey, you know, I saw that you have a podcast, I was part of Collaborate, we didn't get the chance to connect. Let's have a conversation. So that's one thing, right? For the people you don't need. 
people that you meet. For example, Roger at the last Collaborate, he connected with quite a few number of JV partners. He made several really amazing joint venture partnerships, okay? So then that will help him to, be, to bring other speakers here to the event and to other parties. So here's what I want you guys to do. Open the chat box and click on the link that Roger shared with you in the chat box, okay? Open the chat box and click on the link that Roger shared with you in the chat box. I want to get where you go there. Now, when you click on that link, so Roger shared two links, okay, both of them are the same link, okay? Now, click on the link. Everything's in the chat box, everything, everything is on, already there, right? So let me go there and actually show you, actually tell you about the event. So this is the page you go to and when you scroll down, you will see, first of all, well, it's a live event, it's a, it's a like, live online event. You guys get there to connect with other uh, show guests, with uh, podcasters, telesummit organizers, gift UA organizers, all of those people. You can read lots of testimonials. We have never had a single person who came to collaborate and was not happy with collaborate. Not had a single person at Collaborate, and we have done several Collaborate so far. Not a single person has ever been to Collaborate that hasn't been happy. You can see tens of testimonials there on the side, okay? And here are the things we do. We do one session, we do sessions called Networking Circles, where you get into a networking circle, you introduce yourself, you have two minutes to introduce yourself, everybody take notes, and then say, for example, Mark, Martin introduces himself. He says, I'm an author, I do this, I do this. And then I say, Martin, I would like to have you on my show. So Martin writes my name, and then, and then, and then like four people, three people, five people, right? Uh, so we connect with each other, I write Martin's name, I already have access to the, doc, uh, to, the, uh, to the directory. So I can go ahead and contact Martin later on. So that's how Ted Yusatinsky got seven reciprocating promotion plus five podcasts just during the event, okay? And we do actually quite a few number of these. The second thing, we do something called hot or not. Actually, let me, you guys remember I talked about the networking opportunity, you go to networking events and you usually get very disappointed because nobody is there to promote you. This is that place that actually break that cycle. Then when you go there, people actually understand what that means and they are there to help and they are there to find experts, okay? Second thing we do, we do something called hot or not. So if you have an idea about a program, if you have an idea about a course, if you have an idea about a presentation, if you have an idea about pitching media, you can actually talk about that to in front of the entire room, in front of the whole 200 people who are there, and they are gonna vote whether your idea is hot or not. And so you can clearly see, for example, that you have, for example, 163 people out of 200 people think that your idea is really hot, and you can see, for example, 20 people think your idea is not. So that allows you to make the decision whether you go with that topic, whether you go with that target market, and all of those things. The other place that, the other thing that we do is that we uh, have several sessions called knowledge sessions. So we have lots of educational talks during the event. There are four educational talks during the event that you get. One of the things that we have is called JV Shark Attack. And trust me, you actually wanna be there. You wanna see that. This is. Just that one piece, just JV Shark Attack is the most, like, it, it, it's just a whole bad line. I mean, like when the event is $500, everybody says JV Shark Attack is, a, is the biggest value we've ever seen in, the, in, in our business in such a short time. So here's what we do. We bring some of the top experts in the world that have mailing lists of 100,000, 200,000. We have an expert right now, we have an expert that has 1.2 million people on her mailing list. And here's what they do. We get five people to present their ideas to this panel of experts. So this is like 10 experts who have 100,000 plus people mailing list. 
And these five experts are trying to win a promotion to these 10 people's mailing list. And these 10 people will tell the person why they would promote them or why they wouldn't promote them or what they need to change to win a promotion. Just seeing that, just seeing the value of that, seeing what it takes to get promoted to a person with a 1.2 million people mailing list. You know how much that value is? To see that? So then that's another piece of, uh, the, uh, of a collaborate, of the event. And then you also get lots of special exercises. We have special activities during the event and a lot, a lot more. Think about it this way. Actually, I want to put this simply for you. When people begin the event, many people do online events, right? So they begin with 280 people day one. Day two, they have 220 people. Day three, they have 160 people. They lose like 30%, 35% of their audience. In Collaborate, we begin with 260 we we'll finish with 255. People, we, we don't lose people. People just keep coming back because they know the value of every single hour, every single minute. Okay? And your entire investment is only 47 bucks. US, for those of you who are in Canada. Right, but for, well, I mean, like for everybody, it's 47 US. It's an international event. Last event, we had people from 27 countries. Okay, so that's what the collaborate. That's my invitation for you. I can, I actually have a ton of more testimonials I can read for you guys through, but it's an obvious thing. There is no way you guys can lose on this. How can you lose? Get into an event, I guess, four podcasts. <laughs> like, it, it's just impossible, right? So the value is right there. It's an obvious thing. I see that Francis has his hand raised. Um, Roger, do you want to add anything about Collaborate? About like, do you want to share your experience about Collaborate? Well, my experience was uh, at the at the end of the third day, I had more energy than I had at the beginning of the first day, which is really quite something. It's uh, really quite amazing to find two to three hundred people who are like minded, who who have uh, who. Have big open minds and, and, and open hearts and, and they want to just uh, do transactions with each other for mutual benefit. Uh, I'm certainly going uh, a little bit better prepared this time than I was uh, the first and second times I went. Uh, and, and I hope to see many of you there. What's the worst thing that can happen? is you say goodbye to 47 American dollars, but I assure you, you'll get massive value for that. So um, I think now it's over to Francis, who's been patiently waiting to get his question answered. Perfect, Francis, I'm with you, man. Francis, you need to unmute. You're a senior. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh yes, thank you. Uh, well, yeah, I actually have a couple of questions, if you don't mind. Uh, this one is a no-brainer, of course, but I'm looking at my schedule, and unfortunately, I'm fully booked on Friday. I don't know how I can uh, <laughs> reschedule like 40 patients. Mm -hmm. um, but what if I, uh, if I miss the first day? Um, is there any still point on joining the second and third day? It's not recommended but it's not the worst thing in the world. So here is what's gonna happen. If you come on the second day, you know how when you go to an event late and you don't know what's happening at the event and it takes like a couple of mm. hours till you get to the mood of the event? That's what's gonna happen, right? So if you can even attend the first hour of the event so you get the feeling and the culture of the event, or you can just overhear it, right, somehow, then that would be great if you can have, like if you have another person that you can send that person. So buy two tickets, like just have another person and just get that person to bring you up to date by the end of day one. Um, just like if you have an assistant or somebody can, can do it. 
um, it's, it's absolutely worth it. Even if two people are attending from the same organization, if you have, I don't know actually if you have two people, but if you have it, that might also be good. If not, attending two days is better than attending nothing at all. I might be able to take the half day off from the first day. So eight, I can attend. I start at 10. I might be able to take two hours off. So. Oh, that's fantastic. I mean, if you don't even need to do that, just the first two hours that you are there, okay. that's where the culture, that's where we are training, that's where everything is happening. So if you can't even attend the first two hours of Friday, um, then you don't need to actually go cancel another because I know you're a doctor, so you have actually lots of other things and every hour counts for you. So you don't need to actually cancel it. Just keep everything after 10 because eight to 10 is where we introduce, we set the culture, we do all of those things. And I have a, a second question is for influencers. If we want to approach or find JV partners, what is an ideal number on their list or their contact? I've heard like 10,000. Uh, I've heard things like, you know, if it's less than 10,000, don't even bother. It's because you get a small percentage. I'll tell you one thing. The good thing about numbers is that there is no end to them. Okay. That means is that no matter what number you have, you're still smaller than many other people. And you're still bigger than many other people. Like if you have a 500 people list, you probably have a bigger list than about 70, 80% of the population. If you have 10,000 people list, you still have probably bigger list than many other people. We have a smaller list than compared like to Cat Mary, who has 1.2 million people list. Your list, list of 10,000 people is non-existent, mm -hmm. right? So here's the thing. We divide the JV partners to several categories. We call them A players, B players, C players, D players, okay? And then you can have E, F, G, H, and then A, 1, Z, like whatever, right? <laughs> we can go forever, right? You guys, numbers, it's like there's no end to them, right? But here's the thing, like for example, let's say under, under 2,000 people, we call them B players, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's say, for example, we call them B players, right? So and you have a less than 2,000 people list. Well, how do you become a C player? You partner up with D players. You partner up with 10 D players. You become a C player. Mm. Now, how do you become a B player? You partner up with 10 C players. You become a B player. How do you, how do you become an A player? You partner up with 10 B players. You become an A player. Okay? So the good thing is that on Collaborate, you're going to have people with, their, with very different mailing list sizes. And you can find people. And here's the thing. Many of those people, if they're doing podcasts, tell us some it's radio shows, many of them, they're not even looking at the size of your list. And that's just the mailing. This is not like social media, right? All right. I mean, some people care about social media size. Some people don't. Like, I personally don't care about social media size. You come to me and say, like, I have 10,000 people following me on Instagram. I'm like, so what's the size of your list? You're like, well, I have 1.5 million people following me on so my social media. I'm like, great. What's the size of your list? I, like, for example, I never care about the social media size of anybody. I, I just care about the size of your list. Now, some people like, oh, I, I, and, and then it depends on the target market. Like, if I was in fashion, obviously, I would care about one and a half million people on the main, on, on, on your Instagram. But I'm not in fashion, I'm in coaching, so I care about the size of things. So, yeah, so it depends. It really depends on, uh, on, on what target market you have. But reality is that many experts don't care about the size of this. And here's the thing. The size of your list is when you are a promotional partner, not when you are a production partner. I am here presenting what's what matters the size of my list. Mm -hmm. The size of my list makes zero impact on my presentation for tonight because I, I'm, you know, I'm just presenting. What does it matter if I have 100,000 people list, if I have 10,000 people list, if I have 100 people list? I am here presenting, right? So, and, and most times what you are looking for, you're looking for promotion partner. Not, you're not looking for promoting others. You're looking for others to be able to promote you, especially at you know, many, many early stages of the launch. We're always looking for other people promoting us. So don't worry about the size of your list. Just come to the event and the event, there are lots of people there that can actually help you on this issue. Thank you. Okay, great question. Okay, any other questions, guys? So here is one thing. Um, I mean, I talked about this, that I've built so many JV relationships and so many connections. And it's, it's a really good time for you guys to ask your question. First of all, 
How many of you are actually coming to collaborate? Are planning or looking to come in to collaborate? Okay. I want to see actually everybody's hand going up. You mean like it's an absolutely no brainer that you guys come to collaborate, especially if you want to be on podcasts, radio shows, summits, everything. I mean, it's an absolutely no brainer. You know, if you hire, here, think about it, listen. If you hire a PR company to book you for podcast, do you know how much they charge you? Charge you at least a thousand dollars per month. At least a thousand dollars per month. Where do you think they go to find those podcasters? To collaborate. They come to collaborate, they say, I am representing this person. And they put you on that podcast. They charge you a thousand bucks per month to build this connection themselves. You can easily build that connection yourself. Okay. These are industry secrets I'm sharing with you. That you can easily get away. This is collaborate is that event that everybody is looking for and, and can't find. When you see hundreds of people go to networking events, get disappointed, it's because they go to lower quality events that people don't understand and don't connect. We had a, one of my friends is actually a web designer. The first collaborator he attended, he got, he is so booked right now, he can't accept clients. And like, I mean, there is like, like he's actually sending stuff out to other people. He's like, he's hiring people who do white labeling to do their jobs, to their work. One collaborate. Now there is the art of making deals and all of those things where we talk about all of those and we teach all of those that collaborate as well. Okay, so here is what I want to do. Just simply go to the link that Roger shared with you guys in the chat box. Don't spend time, go there and join us. It makes a huge, huge, massive difference in your business and it will be, it will be a life change for you, okay? So that was me and that's, and that's Collaborate. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week at Collaborate, hang out with you and and um, sharing some super awesome, funny, amazing experiences with you. <laughs> Iman, on behalf of uh, VBN, which you created, I, uh, I thank you for sharing all your insights on JV partnerships. Uh, as, the, as we become more digital, uh, JV, JV partnerships, which are inherently digital by nature, are just the perfect way for us to distribute our digital products. Uh, I firmly believe that this is where the future lies and all of you online tonight, come join the wave. Uh, uh, Iman didn't mention that he and his partner, Rich, put on Collaborate three times a year. At a minimum, just come to the first one so that you can be prepared to be hyper effective at the second one. These events are three-ish months apart. Uh, I'm certainly adopting it on behalf of Get Inspired Talks as a primary uh, strategy to sell our online courses. So on behalf of uh, all the audience attendees tonight, Iman, thank you so much for giving us so generously of your time. Absolutely. And attendees, thank you so much for giving us of your Thursday evening. I uh, hope that you've received fabulous value for the money you didn't have to pay, but you did have to invest in your time. And I hope that uh, you've got a, a massive ROI as a result of that investment. Good night to you all. Hope to see you again really, really soon. Good night. Oh, Martin, is that a wave or was that a question? That was a wave. Good okay. night to you all. Bye-bye. Guys, enjoy, have a good night, bye-bye.